how y'all doing, man? It's Dennis Sash with 4 Hours Logistics. Today, I'm going to go over strapping down the load. Uh, this is how you strap down your load, y'all. You get your straps. I already got a fold across. Me, I like to throw them all the way across. When you're strapping down pipes, you want to make sure you get a belly wrap somewhere in there. I'm not going too far, but I'm going to make sure I do it right. So, y'all pay attention. These are my straps. They on to my hook. I hops on the trailer, y'all. You're a little older, you might not can't do that, but that's what I do. Grab my strap, y'all. I'm going to make sure I hook it underneath my steel over here. And I run it back and just hold it. Just stay on this side. Yeah, do this in the same way. Wrap it on my steel. Got it hooked. Down. Here, I'll down. Here. And boom. That's it. This one here, I'm gonna belly wrap. I got these a little shorter, so this is why I'm belly wrapping it right here. I'm gonna make sure I'm around all three of them. Get them squeezed tight. This one's a little small. So I might not be able to get a good strap over just going across. But when you belly wrap it, you're pushing them together and they hold it. Just kind of slide it underneath. You gotta get down sometime. Do a little work. They say trucking easy, y'all, but you got a flatbed. That's what you gotta do, man. So uh, getting started out in half shot. This is the process of what you gotta do. Right now I ain't long enough, we're gonna lift some more out real quick. Take this as the workout time of my driver. The rest of it is just sitting in the truck coasting. So this is the workout time. Get the gloves on a little bit. Just kind of pull it tight. Gotta float. This will be my last strap, y'all. Nice to hook it under here like this. DLT don't mess with me. It's still full steel, so I always strap it right there. Never got messed with, been pulled over plenty of times. It's my way of doing it. Some people say that's wrong, but I've never had any issues, y'all. So. These right here are your clamps, so each time you go around, clamp it to one of them. So like your ratchets on your ratchet straps, like you click, click, it's, it's the same deal. You know, you make sure you click. You put this underneath it. I do these. These are normally for if you got something sharp, but I always put them right here if I'm not got nothing sharp and I'm not using it, just to save my strap from the steel. Go ahead, you want to get them tight. Give me a good little tug on the belly wrap to get it tight. That's the first thing I do before I strap it down. And what you're doing is you're sticking it in these holes. This is called a breaker bar. You stick it into your hole on your ratchet on your trailer. And just push down. Push until you can't go no more. That's what I always say. Got a good little space in between there. Just gonna get in. I think I got about one more good push, y'all, and it should be tight. Should be tight. Got no play. 
things south. So we'll go to the back. Right now, it don't really matter what order you go in now. Just get them all straight out. channel and this is Dennis Sashri y'all thank you